Hello learners, this is Form 4 Mathematics. The topic is matrices and transformations. And in this lesson, we are going to look at the subtopic, matrix of transformation. I'm Teacher Sharon. Welcome. A transformation change the shape, position, or size of an object as discussed in Book 2. In this lesson, we'll be finding the matrix of transformation given the object and image positions. For example, we are told that a trapezium with vertices A, 1, 4, B, 3, 1, C, 5, 1, and D, 7, 4, is mapped onto a trapezium whose vertices are A prime, negative 4, 1, B prime, negative 1, 3, C prime, negative 1, 5, and d prime, negative 4, 7. We are expected to find the matrix of this transformation. So this is how we proceed. We have the matrix multiplied by the object should give us the image. Can be abbreviated as MOI. So this means that if we take the matrix of this transformation, we multiply by the object coordinates we should get the image coordinates so let the matrix of this transformation be a 2 by 2 matrix which is a b c d so if we take a b c d we multiply by the object coordinates that is 1 4 for a 3 1 for B, 5, 1 for C, 7, 4 for D, we should get the image coordinates that is negative 4, 1 for A prime, negative 1, 3 for B prime, these are 3. So we have negative 1, 3, for B prime. C prime is negative 1, 5 and D prime negative 4, 7. So if we take the first row multiplied by the first column, we are expected to get the first coordinate which is negative 4. This means that 1 multiplied by A is A plus 4 multiplied by B, which is 4B, should be equal to negative 4. Call this equation 1. And we form another equation in A and B. So we take the first row multiplied by the second column. And we'll have A multiplied by 3, which is 3A. These are 3 over here. So we have 3a plus 1 multiplied by b, which is b, should be equal to this term over here, which is negative 1. Call this equation 2 and solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. By elimination method, I will multiply equation 1 by 3 to eliminate a. So I have by 3. So equation 1 becomes 3a plus 12b is equals to negative 12. And equation 2 is 3a plus b is equals to negative 1. So subtracting equation 2 from equation 1, We'll have 0 for A and then 12 minus B, which is 11B. That is 12B minus B will give us 11B. Then we have negative 12 minus negative 1. This will be negative 11. So we divide by 11. We divide by 11. And the value of B will be equal to negative 1. 
we can get the value of a by substituting the value of b in equation number one so we'll have a plus 4 multiplied by the value of b which is negative 1 this negative 1 is equals to negative 4 so this means that a minus 4 is equals to negative 4 so a is equals to negative 4 plus 4 and this will give us a is 0 so we have the value of a and the value of b now we can form other two equations in C and D to obtain the value of C and D. So taking the second row multiplied by the third column, we should get the lower coordinate in the third column. So this means that C multiplied by 5 is 5C five plus 1 multiplied by D which is D should be equal to 5 and then we have the second row multiplied by the fourth column we should get the lower fourth coordinate so that is 7 we will have 7 multiplied by c which is 7c plus 4 multiplied by d which is 4d this is a d is equals to 7 so again we solve the two equations simultaneously to obtain the value of c and d so by elimination method i multiply equation 1 by 4 to eliminate D. So I love 20 C plus 4 D is equals to 5. 5 multiplied by 4 which is 20. So this should be 20. Equation 2 remains as 7C plus 4D is equals to 7. I subtract equation 2 from equation 1 and I'll have 13. These are 3. So I have 13 C, 0 D, so it will be equal to 13. This means that 13 C is equal to 13. So we can simplify to get the value of C by dividing by 13 and by 13. So the value of C is equals to 1 so we substitute the value of C in equation 1 to get the value of D so we have equation 1 which is 5C plus D is equals to 5 so substituting the value of C will have 5 multiplied by 1 plus D is equals to 5 so this means that 5 plus D is equal to 5. So D is equal to 5 minus 5, which is equal to 0. So now we have all the values of the matrix, which was A, B, C, D. So we can substitute the values to obtain the matrix of transformation. The value of A we obtain a 0 so we have 0 b the value of b was negative 1 so we have negative 1 the value of c is 1 and the value of d is 0 so this is the matrix of transformation and this is the end of this lesson thank you for listening